Hi, this is Carl. And first of all, I want to encourage you to go to SOP4SMB.com and check out the four book set on standard operating procedures. But in the meantime, it's almost Christmas, so I found a really cool gift that you might be interested in giving to yourself or someone else. It is an iCloud camera from D-Link. D-Link. And the specific one that I got, it says 1100 here, but it's a 932. And it has a cool feature, which is that you can use an app on your phone to monitor the camera. So, and I'm going to show you how I set that up. It's pretty cool, totally wireless, and uh, it's very nice and has some pretty neat features. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so here's the camera itself. There's the back of it. And you'll see that one of the things it has here is a little button so that I can use Wi-Fi protected services to automatically configure it. I happen to have a Cisco router that's got uh, WPS on it. I push the button there, I push the button here, and even though I haven't got it hooked up with a cable, I just have the power put in, it automatically finds and configures this for DHCP. So there's the camera. That's what it looks like. It's pretty cool and got a little stand comes with it so it's easy to set up. As soon as I push that button it's on the network and then I have to just use the software to go configure it. Okay so first we go to www.mydlink.com slash download. Then we look for the specific camera that we have, which is the 932. And there we go. So I got the 932L. And after I say I want that one, then I say I want the setup wizard. I download the setup wizard to a zip file where I have to extract it and then I run it. And then it very quickly finds the camera. After I extract it, I run the auto run. Say yeah, yeah. And then it asks me to find the, my camera. Blah, blah, blah. Check for updates. Notice that I do not plug in a cable because I've already configured it through WPS. So it finds my camera. Uh, you see that I've got an IP address here and it's set up for DHCP so it's all good. I check that that's the camera I want and it says it's already been selected because uh, I already ran it through the uh, routine. <clears throat> but since I know the IP address now I can go directly to it. I set up a password when I set up the original camera. So here you see, I'm going to move this a little north so I can put it into the recording. You see I've got the video of what's going on out there in the other room and it's a beautiful thing. Now from here I can set up all kinds of stuff on the camera. Uh, set it its IP address, I can change the password, I can upgrade the firmware, I can do all kinds of things from here. And we'll come back to this next time when we set up sending information to an FTP site. But for now, just know that you can go directly into the camera and see exactly what's going on with the live video. <clears throat> Alrighty, so once it's all set up, you go to your phone and you open the D-Link application and then you just click on the specific camera that you want to look at and there it is. You see the camera monitoring the little scooter which is all cool. I can take a picture of it by just clipping a button and now I've got a picture of what was on the camera. Next time we'll talk about how we can feed the camera to an FTP site and set it up on the cloud to automatically generate uh, a monitoring system. Thank you.